G'day guys, welcome back to our Whittle Adventure, our Tasmania series, and welcome to the Tasman Peninsula. Is that making you feel a little dizzy? Um, yeah. This must be the channel for the entrance of the cave. So first stop down here is the tessellated pavement. I'm just standing at a lookout. I've just sent the drone out that way. And Clem and Liam are just down um, a little bit further on their way down, but Liam's moving pretty slow, so I should catch them in a minute. Uh, so we're staying down here for four nights uh, with the Wanderous Road. So Katie, Lee, their two kids, Zara and Reggie. And we're staying out at uh, well, Semaphore, Farm, which is literally walking distance to the Port Arthur historical site. So we'll get to that probably tomorrow morning. But today is a Wednesday. Clem isn't working today, so we're going to punch out as much as we can today. Uh, so that's going to be this here, the tessellated pavement, out to the Tasman Arch and Devil's Kitchen. And then we'll probably go home for lunch, grab the dogs, and then we're going to go to the western side to some coal mines and Slopen Main Beach, which looks fantastic. We'll take the rods, take all the kids, the dogs, we'll all go down there and have an afternoon down on the beach. That's the plan. We'll see if we can uh, make it happen. But for right now, let's go check out this tessellated pavement. How cool is this? This is exactly what I was hoping it was going to look like, but having these water sitting on top, looks wicked. Hey kiddo! Good balancing. How cool is this? Cool. Did a big splash? The water's so clear. Yeah. Beautiful. You should see it from above. Oh, I bet it's glorious. I can't wait to see that. Absolutely nailed the weather this morning. We've had some pretty miserable weather lately, yeah. but this is just magnificent today and it really just showed off that Tesla pavement. Mm. But we're not going far now, just a couple of minutes to the other end of the same bay is where the Tasman Arch and Devil's Blue Holes Kitchen. and Devil's Kitchen is, so we're going to head there now. That's mm. the reason we don't have the dogs, is that part mm -hmm. it steps into the National Park. Let's go check it out. Well, that was pretty fierce in there. I think it's a cave system from the other side because it's got nowhere to go once it gets in there, so it's just churning. Um, bowhole to the left. That's, uh, maybe the bowhole is part of that. Go have a look. Amazing. Yeah, we're just looking at it from the other side. So this is the blowhole, apparently. Not as impressive as the copper blowholes, is it? No, but we didn't see them really going either. Yeah, we did. 
On that last day as we were leaving, we had the van hitched up. Yeah, but it wasn't like super high. Oh, no, it was still impressive, I reckon. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I like how it's pretty back on the way. That's yeah. Cool. Ready? That's cool. <laughs> so this is just around the corner from that blowhole called Fossil, Fossil Beach lookout, I think. And we can go a little bit further, but I think it's going to be much, much of a much less for the view. So down here, I think that's that in entrance into the blowhole. So that's where the water's rushing. Okay, so that blowhole and the fossil lookout is also dog friendly on the... Didn't know that. Yeah, didn't know that. I thought it was in the National Park. It's just outside of it. So there are other people there with dogs. So yeah, take Let's me know. in there if you want. Yeah. But now we are definitely going into the National Park. Mm -hmm. Look at these next one. spots. A big one. Oh, so we just prepped ourselves for a 1.4k hike to see the Tasman yeah, Arch. Yeah, it's only one minute. It says it's it says it's right here. And yeah, maybe you spotted the other arch. There's two in the region. Yeah, right, let's go look at this one first. We've now the timing again. The tour bus is just leaving, so we're gonna have this look out all to ourselves. Hey look, this has an arch. Oh, it's a huge walk. <coughs> Big walk. Oh wow. Ah, oh, that's sensational. Yeah, I'll lift you up to that thing. It's really, really cold. Ugh. Now you can see. How cool is that, kiddo? Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Imagine if we could get the drone through there. Yeah. Well, that Tasman arch is very impressive, isn't it? Why do we so now we're just walking around the corner to check out the Devil's Kitchen. We think it's a loop track and it's 15 minutes, eh? That's not too bad at all. Um, and we've got the feeling we might actually walk over the arch, so that could be pretty cool. Yeah. How do we get over the arch? Really quickly, mate. We're gonna follow. <laughs> we're gonna follow this path, kiddo, through the woodlands. Yep, yeah, we're pretty well smoking on top of the arch at the moment, uh, and we've just turned left it's down to a lookout. There's the track that goes that way. Yeah, there's another track that goes that way. We'll continue on. Wow, it looks heaps calmer on this side, doesn't it? Wow, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, what a beautiful coastline. Yeah. Walk through the arch, kiddo, but we're right on top of it at the moment. Why? You have to so go it's underneath way. us right here because the lookout is just over there and the entrance to it is just over there. A a play. Oh, a helicopter. Aline, have you been in a helicopter? There it is, mate. Oh, is that making you feel a little dizzy? Bit. Wow, that's a long way down. I actually can't see that well. So. Whoa, I see the hole. So by reading a sign, because this is still Devil's Kitchen, that was the lookout we were at just before. It's actually now connected through this cavern here over to the Tasman Arch. Yeah. So they're now linked. That's pretty cool. What an incredible coastline. It is amazing. Yeah, pretty stunning. Mummy? Yeah? So there's another arch that's 1.2 k's away called Patterson's Arch. <laughs> Which does look pretty cool, but we're not going to walk out to that one. The wiki camps. I'll pop it up so you can oh, see it properly. Right. Um, yeah, we're just going to yeah, start one making one. our way home now. We want to go to the lavender farm, don't we? Yes, Lavender Farm. Uh, they've got some uh, excellent lavender infused drinks there that I want to check out. <laughs> yeah, like a nice coffee or something, hey? Something like that, I don't know. Yeah. But apparently it is late in the season, so apparently the lavender doesn't look fantastic out in the fields anymore, but we'll still have a look anyway. Meanwhile. Come on, kiddo. We're at the top of a dirt pile. Good you job. did such a great job, kiddo. Can you please stand up and walk down it rather than sliding down it? Might hurt your bum. Hey! 
Uh, yep. Sorry, Gran. Those shots you made him might Liam, get destroyed. Liam, Liam, we're going now. Come on. Let's go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Do what? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do what? <laughs> So we've just rolled into the Lavender Company. And like we said, like, there's lavender here, but it's not as vibrant as what we've seen. Uh, but apparently they've got some good sweets and goodies in here. So we're going to come have a look. What a beautiful venue. Look at that backdrop out there. <laughs> Goodness. Yum. And we've got some lavender and white chocolate ice cream, which I really wanted to try while we're here. Lavender mel melting moment. And we've got a lavender ice look, chocolate. Mom, look, a new ice cream for <laughs> me. Yeah. yeah. We're going to share it, kiddo. Okay. okay. What do you reckon? Mm. Is it good? good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is it good? It is really good. It does taste like lavender. That has no taste. I'm not sure if you're going to like it. Oh, I don't see how you could not like it. Really yummy. Yum. Mmm. Good, right? It is good. It does taste like lavender. Mmm, mmm. Look at this thing. <laughs> We don't go out for treats often, but when we do, <laughs> Dad, do, it right. Dad, do it right. Have you try next? Yep, it tastes like ice chocolate. Oh, really? Gosh, mate, slow down, sweetie. Get tummy ache. Yeah, get tummy ache. I love that purple bit. Do you? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Was it worth it? You were very satisfied. It was worth it. I think so. Just to try the lavender flavors, it's pretty good. Well, it was less than twenty bucks for all those goodies. Nineteen dollars for compared to where we just were on Bruni, where everything was so expensive. Yeah, like one of the cheeses was just nineteen dollars alone, whereas this is pretty spread out, and it yeah. was delicious, and I really enjoyed it. A little treat Liam's for us. still enjoying the last of the ice cream, aren't you, kiddo? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. Should we go for a walk through the lavender? Yes, please. Morning guys, so we didn't chat to you again yesterday afternoon. We did make it down to the beach. We caught up with Sveto's Trippin' and Overland Exposure. Finally got to meet those guys after passing them a couple of times around Australia. Uh, so we all just hung out at the beach, played in the water with the kids, but um, tried to have a fish, but the tide was wrong. Uh, or squid anyway. Um, so now we've just come out this morning to the Remarkable Cave, which is only 10 minutes from where we're staying in Port Arthur. Um, look at this coastline, it's very dramatic. So it's meant to be five minute return, so it's going to be right here somewhere. So we'll go down and have a look. That was a big wave. Very big waves. Come on. This is the way? All right, 15, meet, 15 minutes return. Let's go, kiddo. What about mum? Mum's coming. The water. Yeah. yeah, it looks like we go down to the water. This must be the channel for the entrance of the cave. Let's go. Wow, how cool. I'm going to go down there. Oh, here's the viewing platform. Where's the cave? Ah, there. Interesting. Stay on viewing platform, but there's a ladder over there. <laughs> and I really want to go in there. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool cave. Yeah. That is so cool. Wow. Isn't that specky? Yeah, lots of people do get down there, but... I'm not sure if we will today, see? Oh, look at those waves pumping through yeah, there. That's How so cool. cool. Well, a little disappointing that we can't walk in the cave anymore. That it's not designed to get down there. You could easily climb over the barrier, but we're not going to do that, especially with Liam. So we've just enjoyed it from here. It would be cool to come back at a high tide though and see the water coming so. through I there. I it would really pump through there. So apparently the cave has two entrances, openings at the, at the ocean side, which would be really cool to see, but you can't see it from the viewing platform. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is where we're staying at Semaphore Farm. We are in the overflow, which is fantastic. So we've got this huge paddock all to ourselves. We're sharing it with the wonderful, the wondrous road. So check them out on Instagram. What, okay.
Good jumping! Liam's practicing his jumping. The dogs are hanging out under the caravan, tromping flies. It's those really big flies. Um, I don't think they bite, but they are a bit pesky. They sort of hang around and sort of <laughs> really annoy you a little bit. Um, so last night, Katie and I from the Wondrous Road went for a drive at about 11 p.m. to try and find the Aurora Australis. And lo and behold, we found it. <laughs> so you couldn't see it from the naked eye, but I set their GoPro up with a long exposure time lapse, uh, night time lapse, and it did show up on the horizon and it was beautiful. So lots of greens, lots of reds. Um, I'm hoping we can get a, another glimpse of it while we're here in Tassie to get some more footage and take some photos. And if it's clear tonight, we'll go out again and have a crack at it. Um, it was just really cool, like absolute bucket list item. Uh, so hopefully we can see that again while we're here. Come, follow me. Follow you? Yeah. Where are we going? What? Okay. You want pets? Come here. Yeah. Oh no, I think I'm done looking at tadpoles, mate. <laughs>